to start with you, Alexander Gelevich. I want to ask about the most recent events because we're filming this uh, podcast immediately after Putin's visit to North Korea and Russia and the trip of Russian warships to Cuba. I guess. What signal is Russia trying to send to the West and what is motivating these two events? So I think that all these events, including as well the visit of Mr. Putin to Vietnam as well, that we could add here uh, rightfully. So it is the message. The Russia is back. So, uh, you can enjoy it, you can blame it, but we are back. We have abandoned our attitude of polite, pro-Western, pro-liberal politics of the 90s forever. And now, we, if you declare ourselves the war, we accept it and we are going to strike back with all our capacities. So we pretended until now to, to, uh, to try to, to, to reduce the conflict in Ukraine, uh, not to get it to be something more than something regional, but then special military operation. That was called that in order not to provoke global hostility, not to declare the war to the West. That was just defensive local operation. But we saw that uh, in spite of our attitude, polite attitude, very correct attitude, the, war, the, uh, the West declared the war against us. And now the masks are off. We are going to fight the West, the Western hegemony with all the means we have. Uh, and we immediately rediscover, rediscover Cuba, rediscover Nicaragua, Venezuela, uh, we uh, rediscover North, uh, North Korea, uh, we rediscover Houthi, we rediscover Vietnam, uh, Iran, and we tried to keep the distance uh, with these anti-globalist, anti-Western regimes before. But now it's time to, to, to abandon such polite attitude and we are entering into the war. Into the war against hegemonic West that has already begun to do that against us. It is just the delay but now we are trying to, to, to save the time. Let's acknowledge that. If uh, the West could give nuclear weapon to Israel against Iran and pretend that nothing happened, uh, we are going to, to uh, overcome all the restrictions, all uh, red lines, because nobody, nobody respect our red lines. If you don't respect what we mean by red lines, so we d we are going not uh, we are not going to respect your red lines. So I think we are going to supply all kind of strategical weapon to all enemies of American uh, uh, hegemony, Western hegemony against NATO, starting from Middle East to the Far East, to North America. I think that this, this science, um, science of, uh, of uh, Cuba, of a Russian military ship and submarines, and uh, uh, the talks about re-established re uh, the military base uh, in Vietnam uh, and uh, in Cuba, and I think uh, Russia um, does uh, resistance. Now we are we consider ourselves in the uh, in in the place of the global resistance against uh, uh, Western hegemony because we are victim of uh, what we consider to be the attack of the West against us.